Hello everyone, we will continue the topic WebDyn Pro Ab app and as a part of that, we will continue the subtopic inbound and outbound flux. And in the previous video, we have written the logic in the assistance class method. Why we have written the logic selection logic in the assistance class method? Because it is never preferable to write the selection logic into web dentro component. So now what I will do, I will simply call this method into our web dentro component. Now I will go for the view. I will go for on action submit. On action display, sorry, because name of the action is display. I will go to change mode. I will go to submit button. And now I will go for on action display. We have on action display. And we will just call the assistance class method there. I will go to change mode. By mistake, I clicked two times. So it again came to display. Mode. Now. Here we will call that assistance class method. Now I will go to pattern button. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Now here we need to pass the instance and you all know there is no need to declare the instance separately. Whenever you are going for assistance class in the component controller, SAP automatically generates a attribute which is referring to our assistance class. If I will go to attributes tab, you can see WD underscore assist. It is type ref to our assistance class. So I will simply use this. And I put so much stress previously also when we covered that topic assistance class. I will go to methods. You can go from submit button also or you can directly go to methods also. In the methods, we will be able to find this event handler method. And now we will call. I will go to pattern button. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Now here, I will write WD underscore assist. There is no need to go for any separate object. I will give the name of the class. Z assist underscore material underscore details. I will choose the method. The method will be get material details. I will go for OK. Now you all know very well whenever you have instance method, we have hyphen and this greater than key. Now here. Whatever the importing we take, we become exporting. Whatever the exporting we have taken, now they are importing. Now, what is your input? This is your input. Into LV underscore Matina, we are getting the input. So this input will go to this assistance class method. Whatever the logic is there, it will execute. And we will get the value of these four things. First three are from Mara table and this is from ME80 table. Now the best way, but this P whenever, suppose in front of this, I am writing LV underscore MTART. Suppose here I am writing LV underscore MBRSH. Suppose here I am writing LV underscore MEINS. Suppose here I am writing LT underscore MAK. What will be the type of this LVMTART, LVMBRSH, LVMEINS, LT underscore MAKT? It will be same as that of PMTART, PMBRSH, PMEINS, and TMAKT. So if you want to check the type, the best way is just double click. You will be able to find that type. You can see. PMTART is of this type. So just copy and declare. This is the best way always. And anyway, those who are aware about OOPS concept, they can understand very well. 
एल बी अंडर स्कोर एम टी ए आर टी टाइप एल स्ट्रीम वन टाइप वट विल बी द टाइप ऑफ एल बी अंडर स्कोर एम बी आर एस एच विल जस्ट कॉप दिस बेस्ट वे ऑफ दिस दे विल नॉट बी एनी कंफ्यूजन we'll just go for this next is meins itself so now lv underscore mbrsh is of this lv underscore meins just now we saw it is meins and what will be the type of lt underscore makt i will just double click and we will declare now you can see this is your this i will copy t mkt is of this type so lt underscore mkt will be of same type now this is lt underscore mkt now now whatever the data we are getting from this assistance class method now it is into these three single single variables or you can say this is your internal table now can we bind this yes we need to bind because your data is into these variables ultimately you need to bind with the layout element so that it will be visible if i will go for okay we need to bind with this we need to bind with this we need to bind with this and you can simply see material node empty art attribute material node mbrsh attribute material node the attribute is meins so how i will just go for this now we need to set the values we will not go for getting the values now we will set so how we will set we will simply go for web 10 pro code wizard firstly we want to set we want to set the value of what we we'll firstly go for empty art i will go for okay now you will be able to see that duplicate logic because see ultimately our node is material we are just going for different different attributes read operation get to read or get operation set operation but ultimately it is already declared so there is no need to declare again this all things there is no need to declare again lv mt art we already declared so i'll remove this also this logic is already generated logic so i will remove this also because ultimately node is same now this is different logic we need to keep this logic we are setting the value of mt art now many times people what they will do rather them are again and again generating the logic through web den pro code wizard and removing the repetitive logic now in this case what they will do they will simply copy they know what is the name of the second attribute mbrsh and what will be the value of mbrsh it is into lv underscore mbrsh we are setting the value now same way we will go for third now here i will write lv underscore meins and what is the name of the attribute meins so we set the data which is of mara we have not set the data of mkt yet now if i will check the syntax up to this level it is syntactically correct what is best way to activate just go to display mode right click on your web den pro component you can see the view main is in blue color it means it is inactive so it is the best way to activate just right click and go for active so whatever inactive part is there it will become active now you can see everything is active so what is the summary of this particular video so firstly what we did we simply simply called the assistance class method into our own action display and you all know there is no need to declare the object separately you can simply simply go for wd assist we gave the input 
and in the returning we are getting three variables and one internal table what is the best way to check the type of these variables and internal table just double click and check so i declared three variables and one internal table now your data is in three variables and one internal table you need to bind it with the layout elements so we have simply simply went for this web then pro code wizard we simply choose the operation set and we set the value of empty art mbrsh and meiness it is totally your wish if you think it is very tedious task to delete the repetitive logic again and again so just do one thing one time do and next time just you can do the copy paste now in the next video what we will do as of now we only set the value which is for mara we have not done for makt so in the next video we will do the makt process also so that's it in this video thank you